Opening night for Janet Jackson and the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Delivered. Singing dozens of her greatest hits like Escapade, Nasty, and Rhythm Nation. The Queen of Pop returned to the Blaisdell tonight for the first time in years, and she might have noticed things are different. The nearly 60-year-old arena she's playing in for three nights just got spruced up. Our Benga Terrace takes us inside. The last time Janet Jackson played a concert in Honolulu was November of 2019. Since then, the city has spent $9 million on renovations to the Blaisdell Center Arena. Most of them aren't noticeable to fans, but are meant to draw artists like Jackson back to Honolulu. She's phenomenal. I expect nothing less than absolute, uh, her being absolutely magnificent. This is my first time. First time. I'm excited. I've seen her so many times, yes. Jackson's Together Again concerts are the biggest event here since the city finished a $9 million renovation last November. The arena has new lighting and electrical systems, redone railings and restrooms, and more backstage. Everything was uh, new flooring, new walls, new paint and everything. So that was important so that when the Janet Jacksons of the world come, they are taking care of it the level that they're used to. They did a beautiful job backstage. It makes it super special. It's easier for us to take good care of them and make them feel welcomed. And that's really important to me and has been throughout my whole 20 year career doing concerts. The renovations were a much cheaper option for the city than the nearly $800 million ground up redevelopment that was canceled in 2020. Despite much anticipation for the world class venue, then Mayor Kirk Caldwell said the city could barely afford the rail line and couldn't afford such an ambitious entertainment project. Those who live in nearby high rise condos are fine without it. Well, we just got a bike to eat across the street at the symphony and now we're getting excited to get into the show. Here specifically on the campus with the condos, there's no doubt that the Kaka'ako residents and that the Kapiolani Ward residents and then of course the eateries and the businesses are all booming because of so many people coming and enjoying our events. And the Blaisdell renovations are still underway. The city is spending $34 million on the concert hall, home to the Hawaii Symphony, ballet performances and Broadway musicals. It's now closed for upgrades and will reopen early next year. Promoters are already anxious for the next A-list act, a country music star that's a secret until next week. We have a big show announcement on Tuesday at 6 a.m. for an artist that's been around for 20 years that has never ever played in Hawaii. So it's going to be here at the arena? Yeah, yeah. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.